Yo, it's Mortify here. Today, I wanted to get into a topic I believe is another pressing matter, and an increasingly bigger problem for MGTOW as the philosophy grows bigger. The senses, observational awareness, eyes, and minds of men are constantly under attack by deceptive actors online. From skeptars and traditionalists to political individuals, techniques such as manipulation into discussion, gaslighting, and demonization slash sensationalism are used against men to psychologically force and convince the target that their perception and observations of reality are false, and that the target must reject their perception without proof and adopt the perception of the perpetrator of such technique. This is a thing that happens extremely often, from millennial women calling a man who they recognize as quote-unquote scorned and quote-unquote bitter, who expresses sentiment of anger and frustration with women as, Oh my God! What an insane psychopath full of hate and rage! He hates women! To even people a part of the moderate centrist middle projecting and needlessly asserting their rationality, calling anyone who makes a bold claim of conspiracy a crazy wacko tinfoil hatter. What an insane person. Now look at me as I display how much more rational I am as I immediately dismiss the merit of their arguments. Don't debunk them and act emotionally. So to kick off this video, let's first go into the various techniques and abilities of narcissists. And then I'll show you some examples within the MGTOW community. One must know as a rule of thumb that there are two kinds of narcissists. The overt narcissist is the in-your-face, aggressive, raging, egotistical, and completely delusional kind of narcissist. They often carry a grandiose demeanor about themselves and hold such a massive hubris about themselves that anyone dare criticizing them will be the poor, unfortunate subject of their vitriolic and abusive speech. They have no problem viciously attacking others without warrant and being batshit crazy. Lots of emotion and irrationality will come with this narcissist, but they're the least of your worries as they aren't remotely as bad as the other narcissists. The second narcissist is the silent, apathetic, careless, calculated, and highly deceptive person. These narcissists use intellect to deceive, fool, trick, shame, and convince slash coerce others into doing what will be at the detriment of the victim of their abuse. You will see this type often ganging up on the subject like cowards, rallying against whoever their chosen target is to assassinate their character lie on them, dehumanize them, emotionally inflict damage against them, and drag their reputation through the mud so much that others may not want to associate, be around, communicate to, or be on friendly terms with the subject of the abuse, effectively isolating the target from a group or place and hurting them. This is one form of pleasure the covert narcissist enjoys, especially online. Another form of pleasure for the covert narcissist is using deception from a myriad of techniques such as using half-truths to lie by omission, omitting important detail, intentionally misconstruing and misinterpreting the other party's words, portraying the other person as being quote-unquote crazy or quote-unquote insane to fool unaware third-party people into thinking that person is mentally defective thus dismissing any arguments or points that person may have made. A great shining example of this are the people, a part of the political matrix, arguing with somebody who's in opposition to, say, Donald Fraud Trump, or in opposition of feminism. Another obvious example is when skeptards get emotionally struck and butthurt when presented with the ideas, beliefs, and core tenets of the MGTOW philosophy. MGTOWs don't hold any actual animosity or anger against women, but the irrationalists are so pro-woman and hold her in such high esteem that their minds process what isn't animosity is hatred, contempt, and vitriol for the women's 
They psychologically cannot handle or accept the perspective of the MGTOW, so they use other techniques such as minimization to belittle and ridicule MGTOWs as quote-unquote versions, quote-unquote losers, and human defects effectively dismissing the arguments of MGTOW, which is quite ironic, coming from a group of people that wear the label quote-unquote rationalists every day. But I digress. Lastly, if all else fails, there's another psychological technique the likes of Skeptarts can use and do use against MGTOWs and men with similar perspectives on a daily basis. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is done by putting on a temporary mask of a caring, compassionate person utilizing a soft-toned voice that lowers the guard of men and creates a vulnerability to exploit. Gaslighting is then done by telling the victim of such technique that what they've witnessed with their own eyes is wrong, incorrect, or false. The covert narc then tells them the reality isn't as bad as the opposition perceives, and that they may need to just quote-unquote try again, despite being burned. The narc may even tell the male that their experiences were merely the fault of their own, that it was their fault, and that they quote-unquote didn't choose the right one, wasn't looking in the right place, were just looking for easy sex, and were just selfish. This effectively absolves the women this man has dealt with of responsibility as it's all overwhelmingly shoveled on him. To finish on this point, covert narcissism is a deep, dark, bottomless rabbit hole that never stops and only perpetually gets worse. At least learning about this can help you protect yourself in the future. Now, let's get down to the fun part. As I said before, I will show you some examples of narcissism. Luckily for you as the viewer, I have two exceptional examples. One of a belligerent, raging, arrogant, overt narcissist. And then the other is of a covert, deceptive narcissist. Right here is a wonderful example of the technique isolation being used to separate one from the others. Watch as this overt narc tries to act all nice and caring, only to viciously attack Rick afterwards. This is narcissism. Person, dude. You person, person I can hook it up for you. Really is? Because I like you, you I can hook it up really for you. Is. I've been figuring it out. All I if you want the truth, second, dude, and I Rick, know who he is. You want the truth, Rick? You want the truth, Rick, or not? I don't know. 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 Out of everybody um, here, I'm probably the oldest guy in here right now. Did you just come What's over here to recruit? That's what you just did. You just came over here to Are you going to say yes or not? You motherfucker, do you understand none of us are yes a part no, of Hey, Rick, this is going to... Yeah, gonna there, I know. There is no group. There's 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 no it is you Rick, you're, 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 Rick, Rick, you're acting like a pussy. Answer my question, bitch. Yeah, Rick, you got a shame on to manipulation. Are you serious, motherfucker? Look, um, all right, Did hey, you just call me a fucking hey, pussy? Hey, everybody else. All day long. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. All day long. Real quick. Answer my question. Last time I'm going to ask this favor. I swear to God. After this, I'm going to talk to Yes, sir. Everybody just let me talk to him. Now the raging, belligerent narc is starting to appear more and more. Here's a clip of him threatening to attack people and try to assert more of his internet gangster, macho machismo, hyper-masculine dominance, which is all obviously a hilarious act. This is narcissism. No, you let it do it. Let, 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 let all this happen. It makes sense. All this bottom line. Together. Go ahead and just, just, just fucking bury yourself. Look, bottom line is fuck Trubers of Hope, okay? I'm going after his pussy ass. You guys help him, then I'll go after you. Is, is that fucking simple enough? All right, this next clip is another entertaining one. This raging overt narc 
has not only stated that anyone he sees quote-unquote help in the current subject of his narcissistic abuse, Trav, shall be attacked, but now he's saying, if you're not my friend, you're my enemy. Exact same logic George Bush used when starting the Iraqi war. This is narcissism. Uh, <laughs> I have patience and temperance only for so fucking long. You keep playing around, it's annoying the fuck out of me. Yeah. Now again, I'll tell you one last time. Ask your question, then ask that man and man. give them the link, or I'll I do it bring myself. A, a that's a fair man. It's like you bring a rise in me. That, that's why I like that's a fair so It's like you're wishing you're your time. Just, just send them the link. Again, stop diverting <laughs> from exactly what it is. <laughs> and also, Listen, and also, now, stop you, agree, you agreed upon the question. Shit. You agreed upon the question. You agreed. Ask the goddamn question, jackass. We're playing around. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you my friend? No. What the fuck no. is that? Well, then eat a fucking well, dick, so bitch. You don't even then know you're you. my enemy, you uh, stupid no, motherfucker. No, no, and no, I will treat you like my enemy, bitch. So don't I'm try to fucking befriend me with your bullshit. Fuck oh, off you today, tomorrow, and forever. And fuck all of you motherfuckers on the side, too. I Next clip is a short one of this overt narc saying he called other MGTOWs quote-unquote T-bitch in the video. This is narcissism. <laughs> what? That motherfucker don't know when to shut the fuck up. Bitch, did you just talk to me like that? Man, did you see my video how I portrayed you to a T-bitch? No, I, I know. If you guys thought that was bad enough, this sad little internet gangster went on to a stream the day after crying about how he was supposedly victimized and attacked when he did the majority of the attacking. This sh shows how well a narcissist is able to perpetrate hostility against someone and be the aggressor, and then cry about how they were the victim the day after, just like a woman. This is a cry bully. And this is narcissism. For you guys, you guys shouldn't have done that to me. I did not deserve that. I am a man going my own oh, way. No, I tried no, real no. hard to. Oh I tried real hard to be friends with you guys. You understand? No. None of you want to be my friend. I told you straightforward. Is there any one of you nine right there that wish to be my friend? Not even a single soul spoke at that moment. All you guys wanted to do was attack me. You understand? And so you oh. did. You attacked me furiously. As we get closer to our covert narcissist, let me show you just how tricky overt narcs can be. The last clip of this raging retard is him pretending his mic was muted in order to make it look like he was being censored from the very beginning. This has been overt narcissism. Anyways, uh, but no. seriously, it's like Mexican Maytel is he's unmuted right now. So maybe he has something to say. I guess I'm trying to tell him to fix his goddamn mic. His mic should be working. He, he he does his own channel. His mic is working. And I took and I took a screenshot of that shit. So if it goes on saying that he was muted, nope. <coughs> I will put that oh, screenshot, screenshot out and expose. Me. Screenshots are important. Let me just take a couple of those real quick. Bam, bam, bam. So all that's right there. So number one, no one's muting you. Um, not Mexican at all. may tell us your chance to speak, not, man. Uh, SFM has magical powers or something. No, you're not muted, Mexican. Don't try to be deceptive. I will put that. Might not know out. my voice. The last thing you want is more. Now let us dive into our excellent example of what a covert narc is. Remember. They have a reluctance to be honest and like to be deceptive in conversation. Let me introduce this video's covert narc. This is a dude named Hopeless Ape that has shown up in multiple streams promoting his agenda trying to turn MGTOW into a political movement to fight the government. This clip shows him being very disingenuous pretending he had not known what the internet gangster did only to admit he watched the stream when it happened seconds after. Not only did he act and play stupid, but he also lied. This is covert narcissism. Uh, uh, SFM, man, what was you asking? I said, what the fuck is up with your boy, bro? What would he do? I don't know. You know what he did. I don't know, man. I was talking to other yeah. people. Fuck, bro. Your boy was Yo, over he, here. Yeah, he came like, out here like bugging. We, we by some bullshit. We were uh, uh, invited him in. What is bullshit? Like, wait, hold on, hold on. We were inviting him in. Rational, illogical. 
Go uh, around well, you know, the everybody's that way. Uh, when you're sitting there crying about goddamn safe spaces, then you're fucking irrational. And so far, I've been listening. Y'all bitched about safe spaces, so fuck that. Who cool. space? How do we bitch no, about no. safe spaces? Do you have any quotes? Bro, man, it's, it's the whole idea. When conversing with a covert narcissist, it's expected that deception will be par for the course. The next clip shows Hopeless Ape giving a half-truth about a dude named Immortal. This is covert narcissism. False accusation. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know man? anything about he fucking Immortal. How long you tell me about him since you know him so well? He's not, a, he's not about whatever he was accused of, man. The only thing that he did was share some bondage pictures. So fucking what? Who fucking cares, man? And why was he stay around? Bondage because pictures. He, he tried to get them to stop being wait, 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 you just said that he just gave some bondage pictures. Nope. He gave yeah, much so, more. You know, I actually looked at all. You he know how I know, bro? He also gave graphic pictures of underage anti-girls getting disemboweled and no, having no, all sorts of crazy no shit. things done no to you. No, I that's what actually happened in that case. You just in. gave a half-truth, sir. Messenger all Rising all is the one truth. who showed me the information. Messenger lying? Was he lying? Oh, hold no. up, number one, I'm going to stop. What will be a conversation with a deceptive person without trying to get some answers with a straightforward question? I consistently ask brief, straightforward, easy to understand questions. And most people have no problem reciprocating with a straightforward answer. But when it came to this covert narc, he couldn't give a specific answer that meant anything. In the clip, he masterfully avoids giving a specific answer. Hey, hey, let me ask you this. Would you, would you not find the MGTOW man that says he cares about men and then the next minute berates a man and calls him a pussy deplorable? Would you or would you not find that deplorable? Well, it depends on what kind of man he was berating and um, calling a pussy, dude. Well, he's number one. Man, 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 boy, man, RP man, 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 I know what pussies are. I know what pussies are. All right, I know when I see a pussy, so I'll call a fucking pussy a pussy when I see them. All right. So, would you call a hardworking man who's been going through a divorce, who opened up to another man and went on about his situation a pussy? It, it depends, man. It depends on more factors than that. But it depends on what. Let's, let's just... As I said before, this narc masterfully avoided giving specific answers. Sometimes he didn't even give an answer to a question. In the clip, Stainfree asked him a short question to then be met with a response much crazy. This is covert narcissism. Is, um, so you said, uh, you said you said to call a man a pussy. So what like, man would you call a pussy? Go ahead and tell me the circumstances in which you would call a man a pussy. Well, I wouldn't think you were a pussy. Dude. Circumstances in which you would call a man a pussy. Well, I wouldn't think you were a pussy, dude. Circumstances in which you would call a man a pussy. Well, I wouldn't think you were a pussy, dude. You're not a pussy. That's not the question you asked, man. If those exhibits weren't enough for you. Allow me to present to you the smoking gun of covert narcissism, and narcissism period, making one constantly the topic of discussion and injecting yourself into the conversation. This is pretty much infatuation of the self. This is arguably the most obvious and biggest crux of the narcissist. The following clip shows Hopeless Ape doing just that. This has been covert narcissism. That's a huge part. Yeah. So the the rest of the people who think that I'm anti MGTOW, they think I don't like them. They don't know. All right. So I want I want to see them make mistakes. I want to see them accuse me. I want to see them dox me. I want to see them do it all. I don't know where you get that dox thing from. Uh, I wish no, you keep I know, that bro. I know. I know. I know how it is. All right. He has not done nothing to me, man. Bro, and I saw exactly what y'all did. I heard every single thing that went on there. 
Now he's nice doing his whole try is all I'm gonna say. Thing. Nice try. Bad wait, move. Wait a though. second. Wait a wait, second. No, hold on. No. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, Narcissism wait. thing. Element. Notice. We see fucking every, uh, uh every single Matrix. time every single time this hairless dude, this hairless ape mm-hmm. dude comes in here, he makes himself the topic of the discussion. Every single fucking uh, time. Dude, this is every what I'm supposed time. to do, okay? This is what I'm supposed to do. Dude, all right. Quit it. What's wrong with quit it? What the fuck wrong? narcissist? All right, quit then it. Let's well, then why why do you guys want to focus on me so much? Yeah. We don't. You you are making yourself the topic. Uh, no, no, you, and you, you came in here and you asked me this questions. Is what you do even like, every no, time no. You. Then, then Well, I sure hope you learned something from watching this video. Whether you're just more aware of the over or covert narcissist, you can still Take the knowledge from this video and use it to defend yourself against the constant attacks done against men psychologically and conversationally. Anyway, mortify out.